All right, for the fifth and final installment of this series, I managed to package a couple of lessons together, so this will be the last one. Baseball Savant homepage, we will check out the applications at the site. Thanks for tagging along. I hope you've been enjoying these, and it's opened up some new things to check out. Uh, so you see there's this menu bar up here that opens up a bunch of applications that you can go poking around in. Some of these we've already touched on, so I'm not going to go into all of them. But first one I want to show is this Pitcher Visualization Report. Uh, I've been talking a lot about the cool features on here that are a little passive. This is one of the coolest ones. Uh, you don't have to do any work except for scroll. You just keep scrolling down and all this cool stuff starts popping up. And it keeps popping up. Uh, so you can see we're going through locations of his pitches where he typically throws them. Uh, here is movement on his pitches. Uh, by the way, this was Jose Barrios that I pulled up. I'm going to be mainly pulling him up on these just to keep it consistent. Uh, release points. And again, I'm not doing anything but scrolling down. That's it. Uh, outside of the zone average. That's pretty useful. Uh, edge of the zone average. And then uh, swings and misses. You can see there's a scatter chart. Just all this cool stuff. And all you have to do is type in the guy's name and scroll down. That's it. Uh, this thing's cool. The little Plinko thing. Uh, it shows uh, where he goes to and which counts. Uh, just a cool thing to look at. Now player positioning. This is awesome too. There's a lot of really neat defensive tools on this site. And this one's interesting to look at. And I'm going to pull up a very specific example. We're going to look at where center fielders have played in terms of depth this season. And if you look, the shortest, and this has something to do with outfields, but you can see there's a common theme of all these teams that play in. A lot of Houston Astros, a lot of Dodgers. Very interesting to see that. So there seems to be a philosophy on both those teams, a couple pretty smart teams, that they're going to play in. Just kind of a quick snapshot of the kind of thing you could look at with that tool. Now here's Pitcher Arsenal. Uh, this is a really quick hit thing, and again, we'll pull up Barrios just because he's we'll stay consistent. He's the guy we've been seeing. So just a lot of visual representation of his pitches, uh, both the velocity and the break. You can pull things up to show league averages versus where he is. So that's a really helpful way to get an idea of what his stuff does versus the league average. Um, you can even shuffle through pitchers. So if you're just kind of bored and you want to look through and see if there's anything weird that pops up, you can just hit shuffle and guys will start coming up. Kind of a fun feature. Uh, that's a good way to get really uh, accustomed to that tool. Uh, what else? Oh, visuals. That's This is like a whole new, new menu in itself. Look at that. All these visuals in that uh, application spot. Uh, let's take a look at pitcher velocity distribution. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so we'll do Berrios again. Oh, yes, I know what this one is. So this is going year to year showing his velocity. And I'm going to pick somebody... We're going to pick Cody Allen, who just got released, because I know his velocity's dropped a ton. So this should be pretty cool. You can see it fade, 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 and released. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. Uh, if you're wondering how a guy's uh, velos progressed over his career. Uh, and again, we're back at the visuals here. Uh, here's the, the Plinko again. I won't go through this too much, but that was on that uh, scroller that we saw. Same kind of idea. So you get the drift there. We'll skip ahead. Okay, and what's next? Let's see here. Why don't we take a look at the swing and miss profile. So this is a MLB zone profile. So this is the whole league you're looking at. So this is kind of interesting to see uh, any kind of trends. There's the swing percentage, the whiff percentage. Uh, and you can even break it down to you know right-handed hitters, uh, versus left-handed pitchers and see, you know, where is the most consistent spots where there are swings and misses. So again, a lot of these applications have cool stuff. This visuals has even more cool stuff in there. So that's another spot if you've been at Baseball Savant that might have just kind of flew under your radar. All right, well, that is it for this video. That is it for the series. I combined a few things to cut this down. It's still coming in at almost 40 minutes, I think, so... 
Uh, thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Uh, other than that, just go have fun. Uh, now you know what's on there, go check out Baseball Savant. Have a good one.